be funny this time. Okay. All right, go. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. This is Go-Karts Gone Fishing. I'm Ryan. That's Nate. Uh, just to let you guys know, we started a Patreon channel. So I think he can put the link in here or I might, down I might. at the bottom or something like that. I might can. So if he can figure out how to put it here, it'll be here. Uh, this is part four or five, I think. Five. Five on this build. So we got those two tires to put on the front. He's going to tear apart that front end, put those tires on. We went and dug the roll cage out. Uh, we're going to mount the roll cage back in it because it'll be two-wheel drive and we don't want to die if we roll. Uh, Nate made a new seat. He did double the foam this time and yeah, it came man. out looking real nice. That came out real good. I'm happy with that. And then he's got... We're going to work on the back. We've got these pieces of flat stock here to put like that and then the roll cage has the headrest on it. Yeah, which is like in a perfect place. We're drilling new holes for this gas tank so it sits flatter and it's going to sit like that. We just need another uh, battery, a battery died on the drill. And the uh, live axle should be here Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. And so by next weekend we should have a running cart here. Yeah. Super pumped. So yeah, this is intro to part five. And uh, yeah, we're going to get to working on it. I forgot to mention in the earlier videos when Ryan was here, I got a lighting upgrade for the shed or the garage. Two of those four footers. I think they make a little bit of a difference. I can see a lot better. Hopefully, it's better for you guys too. But uh, and the wife got one over top of her stuff, and I can see my air compressor and tools a lot better over there. <clears throat> so that's pretty nice. That's the old one. That's the only one I had in here. So, yeah, much better now. But I got those front wheels on there. I flopped. I flopped. I flipped those spindles over. It seems to work fine. Now you can see how the steering arm is on top and the spindles on the bottom. And I got the new tires back on. And I was just looking online and apparently. The tires are the same size that I'm getting. They're, uh, let's see, 145 70x6s. So that's the same size tire that I will be getting on my live axle for the back. So <clears throat> hopefully the front's not too high now. <laughs> I don't know. You see how it's got that little kick in the frame. So we'll see where she's, how she sits. But I also <clears throat> have got these. I bent them a little bit. That's where my back rest is going to go. And I'm going I'm to make it a little high, like it's going to come up to here. But I already have a old seat that I'm going to use for that. Smoke it. It's hard to hold this camera in. Do that. There you go. skinnier than I thought they'd be. Already got air in them.
So, I can already tell you that this axle is going to be a little bit too short, I think. It might be fine, but I think the front is going to be wider than the, than the rear. And it look, it's going to look like the front tires should be, or the front should be on the back, and the back should be on the front. And I mean, that would be a pain in the butt to do. But if you look at these tires, they have like a rounded, let's see how it's rounded. It makes it look like it'd be on the front where these are not quite as round. I'll show you what I mean. They don't seem quite as wide or as round. So now I want these tires on the back. <laughs> But I'm going to have to do that down the road one day. It's going to look kind of funny at first, I think. And down the road, I might have to order a wider axle. This is a 38-inch axle. You know, it's one inch. It's a 60-tooth sprocket. And uh, another thing I noticed is that there's two different kinds of collars. And I'm not sure what these two or maybe oh that you know what they're bearing collars I think that's to, to hold the axle where it's supposed to be I bet that's going to be my educated guess I had to order my hangers and the hangers on there separate or these are the flanges and the hangers separate but everything all together was about two hundred and fifty dollars it's really a good deal if you ask me so I'm gonna. I still have a few things to do. I gotta drill some holes, three holes I gotta drill. But I'm gonna go ahead and put that axle on there, and uh, you guys can watch. Hey guys, Nate here. So as you saw, I unboxed this. Talked a little bit about it. Two hundred fifty dollars, free shipping when you buy all this together. By the way, free shipping, which is really cool. Um, I've I've never done this before, so bear with me. It's probably gonna be a lot of fast forwarding possibly some taken back apart and um, like I said I've never done this before but I did stay at a Holiday Inn about a year and a half ago so this is where the fast forwarding is going to begin probably Yes. I gotta find six bolts, so stand by. Hey guys, come with me. So, for my flanges, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use carriage head bolts. <clears throat> so I turn into my hoard of bolts and nuts and stuff I got down here. And all I could find was two carriage heads that fit that. Yeah, why's it gotta be carriage heads, huh? Why? 
So I'm going to rummage around a little bit and for testing purposes, guess what's going to happen? <laughs> it's going to get regular bolts. I'll put a carriage head in each side and then two regular bolts, whatever I can find that will work good. So that's my plan. Back to searching. Alright, so here's the deal. I don't know if I have everything I need yet, so I'm going to see if I can get at least up there with what I got. So. Ryan's at work, so he can't come help me, so this will be interesting. The front end is way wider. Almost fell. Yeah, it's hard to tell on camera, but I could definitely tell. But it'll be alright. So I gotta install this gear or it ain't gonna go nowhere. So eight millimeter. And then I also stole off the 50. This, which I'm going to have to cut and modify to make my gear shifter. But for now, I'm just going to put it on like that. Hopefully, I got enough of this stuff and it's like the perfect length, I'm not too short. chain on it. Just fuck it. It's getting there. Chain's long enough. That's great. I was scared. I'll worry about that. <clears throat> um, yeah, I need to bolt that motor down. It's going to be boring. You ain't going to want to watch it. Alright, so, yeah, I, start, I robbed this piece off to 50cc. Y'all just saw. And I walked out and checked my mail. And my parts came in. So I didn't... <laughs> I didn't... Don't, I didn't even have to take it off the 50cc. These are brand new, with the bolts and everything. Got the got everything. Out of it. Ah, I got backup either way, but I think it's the same exact size tooth and everything. That one actually looks like it's got thicker teeth, which is weird. This is a 13 tooth. I'm pretty sure that's a 13 tooth. So dumb, dumb me. Should have checked the mail before I started tearing into the 50cc. Also, what came today is oh, by the way, for the gear by itself, I paid $4.99. 13 tooth for the 110cc works on like all of the bikes pretty much. For that, with the little guard and the screws, I paid $6.99. Free shipping on both, so you can find that on eBay. Also, found on eBay um, this setup. <laughs> And this is some kind of a, this part here. For the, This is for my mini bike. So it's the throttle, you know, you mean, mean, mean. This part goes underneath. It's got a little curved throttle cable goes down. I bought this for the mini bike, but it's really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this on the mini bike. So it's real nice. And uh, that'll be a quick build one day. I'll throw that on there and ride that. Cause it's been a long time since I rode that ever since this thing I got it running. I, ri I yanked the throttle off of that mini bike to put on that. So now both will be running good, and, or be running, and this will be running. So, and then all I gotta do is weld the steering wheel back onto the original go kart OG, and we'll have all my stuff going if this works. 
So I gotta bolt this motor down. I'm whooped, I'm sweating. So I got it in the mail today and uh, got it installed, I say, fully in about, I'd say an hour and a half. I had it on there and I had the axle hangers already done. And that's with numerous brakes. See that giant battery? I don't know how much. I have no brakes. gas pedal still. to mess with it. Those donuts, yay! You guys forgive me because I'm by myself. Ryan's working. What happened? Floorboard. <laughs> I'm sad because I want to go fast. And the shifter cart is not fast right now. And I knew the problem. This, this is the problem. I need one like half the size. I didn't try to do gear ratios or nothing. That was my mistake. But I'll shoot some more videos. I gotta clean up this shop. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's dirty in here. 
stuff everywhere. So I clean up in here and then see if Ryan comes by and shoot a little another little video on it. Well, I'm done with this for this weekend, guys. Got the seat mounted. I got the brakes set up, looking good. You can see I, sorry about my fingers. See how I welded that little square piece of bracket on there, ran that bolt through it, a couple nuts. And I haven't tried it yet, but I'm, I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's gonna work. Then I put the bolts in the seats. And it's a roller. I traded that battery out trying to see if it started again, and it won't. It's got nine volts, but it will not even move that starter. So she's done. Top speed, 16 mile an hour. I got plenty of torque, so I gotta get a smaller gear and try it again. So I think I'm just gonna make this thing into this video. It is a runner. Um, if I take it out and drive it later, I'll put some more footage in here at the end of it riding. But there's the seat. It's pretty good. It's a little crooked, but I don't care. Yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I put a lot of money and time into this slow cart. But I still got a few more things I got to do. Mount the battery. Cut off the hub part of that wheel. And build a shifter off of that. So that's all I got left to do with it. And put the roll cage on. And it's going to be pretty much... Oh, and once I get all that done, I'm going to paint it. But, sneak peek at a future video. Da, da, da. Yep, that's where we're going next.